The Hollywood version of, of veterans is something that, that, that I reject, and, and I thought that this film was so exceptional, and it's so hopeful and, and healing, and um, I, I wanted to make sure that, that I brought it to you, and we're bringing it across the city. We're going to be showing it in all different places, hopefully, and I'm just delighted that, uh, that you're here today. So how many people here are familiar with the term moral injury? I think I've seen it in articles, but it didn't resonate with me until I saw this film. You know, post-traumatic stress disorder is what would wake me up in the middle of the night. Moral injury is what would keep me from falling asleep in the first place. And as one general explained, he says, you know, in America, you think that war affects you up here. We know here it affects us here. When you're home and you're trying to reconnect, Everyone is identifying you with the things that you did while you were away. How many wars where we've brought soldiers home and we really haven't figured out institutionalized? What does it really kind of take to reintegrate the veterans? The front line of healing started and ignited and, and really accelerated through the experience of community. It's all of our responsibility when these people go to war or go to these battles. And it's so important for us to be a part of that healing. I'm the national director of Project Welcome Home Troops, which is the, the workshop that was featured in the film where Tom's transformation happened. And I always tell people I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world to be able to teach these workshops and watch the transformation of veterans happen right before my eyes. It's really quite remarkable. And I wanted people to have that same experience I was having in these moments. They were no longer this community that was like separate from me. You know, I felt that, okay, well, we're all in this together. We're all a part of the same community, the same family. Preparation is the documentary but the stories are told after the questions and the answers and the ability for people to, in the audience to really make sense of it. I had a veteran recently, I was teaching in Saipan, and he said he just watched the film and he just got relief watching the film. So whether or not our workshop or other services make it to him, they're getting that relief. I'll just get back to where we started. We truly are, we truly are all in this together and that's our greatest, our greatest strength. Community is the most powerful medicine. <laughs>